but there's a lot so of many. activations here, and they are doing a really great job and making sure that the attendees have fun. Because at the end of the day, as great as this tournament is, it's about the attendees more than anything else, and they're having a great time. Yeah, I can literally right now while casting. You can hear Whoa. people playing drums and instruments over there. There's so many different setups. There's games. There's giveaways. Um, there's snack. There's just so much here at this event. Facts, facts. Man, I love it. What a time to be alive. Oh, it's Cloud. Starting with the Cloud, it is. OK, now I kind of theory crafted this was either going to be Cloud or it was probably going to be Pyro and Mithra. And it looks like the Cloud's going to get the job done. And I love that. OK, Cloud, of course, has, a, you know, has some really great options. You know, uh, some that really don't need any explanation. But I think one thing that Spargo's Cloud is really good at that some of the other ones I don't quite see as much of is back here in the corner. Back here, bit of a slower option, minus three on shield. So we're going to see a lot of that. A lot of pressure being applied in the corner, especially for a character like Peach. Yeah, definitely going to. But I mean, you got to get an opening first. Mute H right now is just doing such a good job of picking when to attack. Sparkle does find an opening. Oh, when you're off stage, you might not make it back. You might not. It only happened once. Mary Poppins back to the ledge. OK, we got we the, made it. OK, we got the parasol on deck. All right. Ooh, but back off stage again, using that float to try to get a little bit closer. Going to come back. Yes, that umbrella. Ah. But again. You know, uh, it seems like Mute Ace is only safe off stage every time Mute Ace comes back getting slapped right back off. Okay, but hold up a second here. Cloud's blowing blue. So, you know, it's a bad time for the other side. Another thing that Sparkle's Cloud is very, very good at is the up B's out of shield. They know when they get that lead, the aggression is turned off. You touch my shield, you're going to be in some trouble, okay? We see up B's out of shield every time. A very strange on Mute Ace's behalf to go for a crazy option like that up close. Oh, yeah, don't touch me. I'm, I'm going to be honest, Sparkle. Ah! Oh, we went out there, didn't find it. Sparkle made it easier to beat all the other clouds because they watched Sparkle up be out of shield. Now they just do it nonstop. I'm like, whoa. Yeah. You, you got to do it when Sparkle does it. Woo. The, the dash back into the fast forward dash shot? I, I guess it's a thing, man. Oh, it's because it's we're at the basketball court, okay? It's because oh. of the gym. Fact. Fact. Like, got those sneakers on. That's right. That's right. You said they're laced up to the top, okay? I watched the players earlier. I know what to do. Uh huh. Okay, wait a minute. Great anti air. Risky right there for me. They should try to get it for a neat forward air. <laughs> we just spot dodged that. Yeah, we'll take it. Found, found the back air, okay? <laughs> Good stuff. <laughs> And does have that turn up in hand, picks a different one. Searching for that opening, not able to find it. Great grab coming in from Spargo. Sniped out the jump. Float was still there, though. Mm -hmm. the Mute Ace is just, the movement is always so crisp, even if it doesn't hit. If the rough part is that, as great as that movement is, you have to move around the disjoint. And that's always the tough part. I mean, we see like Ness struggle with the same things. Yeah. Character, great movement. But if I put that disjoint out, whether it's Link Sword or Klaus or anybody, it makes you think twice before you approach. Because you almost run into Woo. it. Oh, wh what is a blade beam? Whoa, okay. I am Peach. That's right. Kiss the crown, she said. Okay. It's looking good here. Another, again, back here. Minus three is so good on shield up close. Mutes has to just alleviate and respect it. Uh -uh, oh, no. that, that was rude. That was, that was clean, too. Yeah. Empty hop grab. Right. And after I throw you up, I'm keeping you up there. Raises the roof with that up air. Going to take it. Bro, is that a phase plan <laughs> turtleneck? Okay. I need one. Okay, that's... That's kind of fly. All right, that's... I'm kind of messing that's with why that. that. That's why that up air worked, okay? Oh. That was a phase claim exclusive, okay? Claim you can exclusive. only do that with the with the red polo. I, okay, I didn't even put it together. You might be onto something here. That was actually the change in Spargo's uh, gameplay. Before it was just the back air to worry about. Now oh. we got the up airs too. Mm -hmm. See, I never knew that. Okay, I'm learning things up here, friends, on the fly. Same can be said for these two individuals right up there in the hot seat as well. It's all about adapting as the match goes on. And I think New Days, of course, has a trick up his sleeve. Let's see how this all unfolds. Pizza course can do some things to Cloud, especially in like the ledge trapping and offstage department. I just don't know if we're going to see it here. Yeah, and, and how do you get that initial hit? You know, I, I'd love to say against mm. a lot of Clouds, yeah. you hold your shield, you do things like that, but Sparkle's yeah. not afraid to grab you. Yes. So that's what makes it so difficult is there's no universal answer. You always have to have a moving response to do with Sparkle. Yeah, you do. Because you know, the minute you start standing still, and the minute I know I can just go for like short hop forward or up close, or you know, you're a little afraid to touch me up close, I could go for LB out of shield. That's when he kind of has your number. Uh oh. And Fargo never out of it as well. There was a huge lead last game as well, and Mudeis was not able to close it out. And oh, man. Fargo down at the moment, but looking fantastic yet again. Uh huh. Okay, kind of caught him off stage here, slacking. Uh, back up. Love that recovery from, from Mudeis. Oh. Okay, jumps over him, goes for the back air. This is clean right here now. I want to see some more pressure right here in the corner. Peach has some of the safer aerials right here in this matchup. You know, Nair and Backer being pretty good up close on shield. And 
Of course, Mide's proven just that. Fargo, of course, not with a good option right there on the answer. Could have went for up B out of shield, but I mean, of course, if up B whiffs, we want some trouble, bro. Yeah, for sure. Big lead from Mute Ace. Meaningful damage. Owen rolls away from it. Big oh. Again, okay. Mute Ace starting to put together the puzzle pieces. Uh huh. I'm figuring this thing out. Wait a minute. Another back air. Okay, drop down. No, actually going to go for back air that time, but gets stuffed out by the parasol. What a sentence that was. Okay. I don't know if I've seen not just a peach. I don't know if I've seen a player recover better than Mute Ace. That, I'm, I'm going to have to go ahead and agree with you. They kind of. It kind of put on a display when it comes to recovering, especially around Cloud. Yeah. That's, that's the tricky part. That you know, sword is half the stage, and your little umbrella keeps on getting by. Mm -hmm. All right, slowing down the pace just a little bit. Limit about to be online for Spargo. Okay, there it is. Goes for the delay on the second cross slash. Let's keep it Mute Ace guessing right here. Another back here. Oh, God, that is so safe and just so dangerous. Mute Ace knows, uh, just alleviating. So I'm out of here. Oh! oh! Got caught. Off stage, though. Gonna make it back, yes, for free, but again, right back off stage it goes. Fargo, the lead traps are beginning, and F tilt for your troubles. Uh -huh. Can I get another? No. Again. Whoa! A footstool! Hey, we'll take it! Mide's right here with the lead, 108% right here. Turn up in hand. Let's see what they do right here to hold on to this lead. So I'd imagine Spargo at this point in time is gonna start holding forward, or I guess in that case, back with back here. Great stuff. Even stocks across the board. All right, dash attack in. Position is everything right here in this matchup, especially in the corners. I feel like Sparkle has to be very well aware of the danger that Mute Ace brings with this Peach gameplay. Definitely has to be. You know they have played time and time again. Uh oh, and that lead dissipated so quickly. Mute Ace comes on with that forward air, though. As you said, kiss the crown. Uh huh. So I run this joint. You better ask about me. Whoa, another back here. Don't say it too loud. Jay Z might come through. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Dinner with Jay Z or the money. I'm taking the Which, money, Whatever one has a crown. Oh, right. <laughs> you already know. <laughs> that, okay. I didn't think of it that way. You're right. Okay. 135 sitting on Spargo. 91 on Mute Ace. You can feel how tense it is. Next opening is likely to take it. Okay. And they... Okay, great positional advantage right here. Oh! Ended up dropping shield at the last moment. It looked like maybe Mute Ace was trying to jump out of harm's way. Spargo letting it rip in a big way right there. Was able to get another point on the board. 2-0 right now, but a well-fought 2-0. The yeah. job ain't done yet, but Mute Ace, they got their work cut out for him here. That was, uh, I think, right at that point when it was questionable to if he would be shield poked. Yeah. So uh, Mute Ace had to choose an option. Unfortunately, you know, Spargo, fully aware of it as well. That's right. Found that opening, and man, I don't, I don't know if Mute Ace is going to be able to find another footstool. I don't think so. Because uh, that was a relatively earlier stock to take, if you will, a, a little bit easier. And we're running it back too. What do you think the uh, what do you think the concept behind this is? You know, I mean, I, I have one in in my mind, but I, I just don't want to be wrong. I mean, this stage, I, I I like it for both characters or both players, excuse me, but not versus each other. I think maybe more so on the behalf of Mute Ace versus Spargo. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it feels like it should work okay, but I think there's a possibility that Spargo's just covering too much range. Yeah, and I think that's making it a little difficult. I think so, too. Like, that short hop mirror on Cloud's behalf, and, and with how much space it covers around Cloud and how fast it is being, like, five frames. Like, I mean, the minute she jumps and she's trying to, like, get over the platform, I already got an option out. Once you get caught in the corner, you want to jump over me and get on that top platform, back here is too safe on shield for you to even think about jumping. So it's just like, I'm not exactly sure what the game plan is right now, but it's still pretty even for the most part. Rolls right into up tilt, though. Match starting to spiral out of control. Uh-oh, uh-uh, don't touch me. Whoa! It's getting closer right now. You know, you also got to worry about an up air, so even your jumping options are kind of gone for Mute Ace. Wow, recognize him. There's only going to be two hits to the cross slash, and Popsy taking the stock first. Turn up, Whoa. snipe, and hits. Part two, not able to finish the plate, though. Spargo miraculously making it back. Making it back and landing with the forward air right there. As safe as that move is up close, not the quickest option in Cloud's toolkit. And, of course, Mute Ace knowing how to just weave out and in on that option. Nice down throw. Don't quite get anything off of it here. And dancing up close and personal is Spargo. The moves are on deck. Whoa, I got you bachata right here, Logic. I appreciate it. One, two, three, four. You're no more. Uh huh. And one thing we haven't seen are really Mute Ace's classic combos, those, those conversions. You know, we're normally accustomed to seeing those 40, 50, 60 plus percent combos. Just Spargo is avoiding the positions, not allowing Mute Ace to find those openings. Yeah. 
I think that's like the biggest difference maker right now. Oh, oh get that up. out of here. What's limit? Wait, whoa. Okay, down tilt. Can't quite get anything off it, but I love that, though. So having an option now to bait the air dodge and then knowing when to back off and get back to solid ground as quick as possible to punish the poor landing option. Mide's trying to stay one step ahead right here and on Spargo in these small moments where they can give him a disadvantage. Okay, nice. Can I get another? Uh-huh. Crown time. Yeah, I don't know what it is about this board here, but it's giving Spargo problems. It, it hasn't been thrown out a lot, but every single time it seems like it's connecting. Yeah, it is. 100%, bro. I, I guess Cloud's not a fan of royalty. All right. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm Whoa. a peasant, okay? I don't oh. understand this. Whoa. So he doesn't understand the ledge either. Coming up short right there, unfortunately. That's a glass enough. ceiling because he's not royalty. There you <laughs> go. That's right. So you can only go so high, but the buck stops right here with me, said Pete. Whoa. Okay, down tilt, dash attack. Just chilling away right here at this lead. Up B out of shield. No, not that time. And letting things just go immediately for quarter. Some of these more aggressive options starting to. Whoa! Starting to add up right here in a big way. Spargo right now evening it up 67%, but with full limit, I can't help but feel like there could be the start of a comeback. Uh uh. It was indeed starting, but at 82%, Mute Ace looking fantastic. Mm -hmm. I mean, right now, it is game number three. You have to win this to stay in winners. Yes, you do. Okay. And he certainly knows that. That forwarder, like you mentioned before, is getting busy. The forwarder and also the turn up, starting to find a few more openings with that. I, I wonder if Mutace is going to recognize that and start using it a little bit more. Maybe. I mean, I'm, I'm kind of seeing the theory behind it. You know, you get the turn up in hand and you throw it as Cloud's like, you know, tossing out a move. It kind of stuffs him out for just for a split second. You can get in and, you know, make some magic happen. Wait, there's the crown. We'll take it. Muda is able to put a point on the board, a well thought out point, but a point nonetheless. Let's and see if they can get another one and push this to a game five, bro. It's definitely plausible. You know the turn up usage starting to come in big. Yeah, yeah. The know. forward airs, yeah. Mudez is putting something together. I don't know what it is about the Mudez forward air, but on Peach, it's starting to connect. Mm -hmm. Spargo, of course, on stage tapping his foot, Sonic the Hedgehog style, like, what's going on? What's the hold up? Mudez getting their ducks all in a row. Okay. I'm wondering what the stage pick is going to be. There's no way we're going back to small battlefield again. Um, Wait a minute. Is going to allow out? Small battlefield? Regular battle. Oh, regular. Okay, okay. One more platform, okay? The more platforms, the more fun. Okay. Threw me off for a second. Okay, now, as we've seen in installments prior, you know, you give those tri-platform uh, tri stages to a character like Cloud, and they're kind of a kid at the playground, man. Kid at Chuck E. Cheese, if you will. They know how to dance in and around those platforms. They know how to shark them underneath. The uh, charge limit cancels, you know. They just kind of increases that movement option a little bit more. So here we go. Potential final game right here for New Days, but we will see if they can maybe figure this thing out. Oh, whoa, great spot dodge right there. It's the Matrix, man. And we indeed have a crowd that is building between these two players. It took a little bit, but uh, the people are ready to watch the, the matches. Oh, as they should be right here. I mean, these are two of the best players to ever do it in just Smash history. Should be a crowd every time. Okay. Well, that's what I'm saying. Okay, can't quite roll in that time. Smart on me. They should just do a neutral get up. No roll in, no aggressive option. Whoa! Oh, okay! I told you, it might not look optimal, but it is on Mutes' behalf. There's the down air. We're dancing one more hit. Board. Can I can I get another? Didn't get it, but you know a forward air will take it, but a limit cross slash can do it as well. Who's gonna find that opening first? Well plays back air. Mutes off stage. Mm -hmm. You gotta worry about it. Air dodges! Oh my that God. was so smart because obviously that up B dropping to that position, Sparkle's gonna be all over it. And the fear factor ever so present right there. Mutes is holding shield. Sparkle goes for the back throw. Nice, gonna go for the up smash. We haven't seen quite a lot of that right there on Sparkle's behalf. Sparkle, of course, just, you know, playing this one safe. Not trying to show his hand too early on how he's going to take stocks. Peach is going to do a lot of jumping. Cloud, just, of course, being a source, is going to have anti-air options. Whoa! This is Wait okay. a second. A little twinkle toes down air right there. Only hit with a couple hits. Sparkle not prepared. Tried to tech, but missed. Oh, man, that is unfortunate indeed. I thought for sure they were going to be able to get back to that legend. Mutes right now. If there was ever time for them to turn Ooh. it up, it's definitely now. And I think they heard us loud and clear. Going to go oh, the Oh, my there. goodness. Nice. No matter how which way you spin it, you was in some trouble. If I do it on stage, pretty safe. Minus eight. If I do it off stage, it's a lot of damage. You don't want no parts of this forward there, Mr. Strike. Is this the same player? I, I, is bro, this still Mute Ace? This ain't, this ain't Mute Ace. This is Loud Ace right here. Oh, right man. Here. Loud and clear is this message. It's been sent next day air. Look, if Fargo doesn't want to listen, going to have to today, that's for sure. Uh-huh. Tried to dance around that for dear life. Jump air dodge, jump air dodge. Eventually, Sparkle is going to find that mark. Great up B, though, right there. Out of shield. Okay. Looking good right now. 
Oh my goodness, love that. Love that Nair on Cloud's behalf. Love when I see it utilized properly. I hate when I'm having to fight against it. Nair is just such a good move. It is, but I, I wonder if Spargo tried to do a little too much right there. Uh-oh. You know, Spargo just really on the back foot, sitting at 134 in this final stop, trying to find an opening, trying to mount a comeback. But, I mean, Mute Ace is getting hit by back airs. Mute Ace is saying, look, you might indeed be able to make this comeback. There is a glimmer of hope for you after all. There, oh, my goodness. And wait a second. The glimmer of hope to get back to that ledge. I thought for sure they were going to be on the receiving end of maybe a turn up there that time. Delay on the recovery, going for the limit blade beam. The Z drop on the turn up. This is getting real scary right now for Spargo. Back to the ledge we go. Back here, it's safe. Do Hold on, Peach, let me see it, man. Do you see the respect that Mute Ace is Oh, what are hitboxes? They're things that only Peach has. I guess so. Back here, too good. Frame six startup. Quick option on Peach's behalf. So strong, especially in the so corner, good. regardless if you have an up behind the shield or not. You know what I'm saying? It's really going to make you work for it. Did he just take a picture on a 3DS? Hey, hold that up again. Did I just see that right? Hold that 3DS up. Hey! Look, Nintendo said, look, we're, we're discontinuing some of the services on the 3DS, but they said we're holding strong. <laughs> we're holding strong. I know that's right. And somehow, some way, Mutes has managed to put himself in the position to advance in winner's bracket. Uh-huh. One loss away from going into the losers and saying, no, I'm not ready to go yet. Here we are at game number five as Mute A's versus Fargo is going down. It's going down right here in a major way. I'm curious to see which side right here is going to take a stock first. That really is going to be the biggest decision maker, the biggest difference maker, excuse me. It's like, yo, whoever takes the stock, the other side is going to be climbing uphill to really try to close this thing out and bring it back. Whoa. Okay, fall away fair that time. Risky business, of course, not wanting to be caught in that corner anymore, but wanting to toss out a safe option to get the pressure off him. Okay, back here, always dangerous to work around. I can't stress enough how strange back here is on Cloud. That Minus was three, but whoa. Genius. Throw the turn up to bait out the air dodge and just finish with a multi-hit that down smash. Meaty staying out there the entire time. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. You can't hang out at this ledge, man. No loitering. You need nope. to buy something. No Whoa. vegans, all right? Uh -huh. Okay? <laughs> That's, That's all right. we're saying. Okay. Turn up in hand. This is a, the most dangerous version of Mutes, if I may say so myself, especially given their, their run and how well they played at Riptide. When they had that turn up in hand, it was a bad time for the other side. Yeah, and uh, as you mentioned that, Rod, that is one of the biggest different makers, getting those conversions, but I think the forward air and the turn up play has just really stepped it up and kind of caught Spargo off guard. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Not afraid to press buttons up close anymore is Mute Ace, and that's making Spargo have to, you know what I'm saying, hit the lab and maybe rethink some of these approaches. Okay, that new game plan, though. We, uh, upbeat is my name. I do one, I run up, I do it again. Uh-huh. Okay. Turn up in hand right now, and a lot of patience being displayed right now for Mute Ace. Love that, man. Nerves are still, even when you know you see short hop like Nair in the corner, short hop back here being uh, tossed out on Cloud's half. You know what I'm saying? Like, just to have that presence of mind to not do anything, I think just kind of separates them from a lot of other players. Okay. Wait, huh? Yeah, I Wait. thought that was a little what bit the? too low. Really unfortunate. And I mean, if you're Mute Ace, you're like, I can't believe this happened. A little bit of a tech flub, but it's not over yet. You still have Spargo at 105. You still can edge guard Cloud. You still can take the stock. A forward air will easily finish, his, finish the plate. And that's the tough part, too. I mean, with these aerials up close, like, you want to approach Cloud now because you understand the deficit that you're in. But, like, if it's not a parry, uh, you're not going to get much out of it. Because even if it hits shield, I mean, she's just not positioned well enough to go for a, a damaging enough follow-up. Yeah, that, that was cheap, by the way. That'll be, oh, man. That, that'll be hit behind right there. Bro, I'm trying to tell you, dog. Square Enix said you better oh. make Cloud good if you want him back in this game. Tech flop. Good tech, finish the plate, not quite yet, drops another turn up, and somehow Spargo still making it back. Uh-oh. Okay, shields the blade beam. Nair up close and back air again. Back air, such a tough and potent move. Cross up on the back air. This is what we need. Give me, give me those frame six options and fast, Mute Ace. Give me something. I mean, Mute Ace is trying. Mute Ace is dancing. Mute Ace does find that forward air. Okay. Yeah, it's peach time. It is peach time. You know, okay. It's peach time or it's loser's bracket. It's up to Mute Ace right now. She got her own game once once upon a time. Did she get a super peach? Uh, I, th I, think, I think she got a game back in the day. Somebody correct me on that. I mean, you might be right, but I, I think, think everyone knows a lot more about Final Fantasy Cloud. That's also fact. <laughs> Mr. Strife is kind of the man these days. Hey, still looking like the man. That sword is huge and still connected. Okay. Let's see if Sparrow can connect the victory right okay. here. Good parry. Okay, nice. Oh, wake up. Yeah, please, get up. Yeah. Delay on the get up right there on that top platform. That could have been devastating. This limit is so devastating. Oh, and it, oh the air dodge comes in. That was clutch. Back air? 
Okay, actually going to go for the, the Swordsman Classic, the empty jump into the turnaround F tip. We see all the Swordsmen do it in this game. Cloud, of course, no exception. Backer, though, coming out right here. What is this? Huh? Is this huh? Mute Ace? Is oh! he alive? Did he just win? Oh! Mute Ace takes it over Spargo. Yo, oh my goodness. I say it once and I say it again. There are a lot of peaches out there. There are a lot of peaches I can do. Peach things, strings, you name it. But only Mute Ace can make them optimal. When what? the time calls for it. This Great is still stuff. Smash Brothers, right? I, this is still Ultimate. Dog, I don't know what game we play. That playing. was a touch of death. Sparkle messed up once. Sparkle had the victory, and Mute Ace said no. He said, you blank. You did it too soon. Wow. That was nasty. Oh my goodness, sorry, my bad. The string was so great. Yikes was asking questions about it. He said, yo, what was going on? Man. Here? Wow. This is a, uh, wow. That, what a moment that I was. Mean, I don't know wow. how you can have that that type of composure because that's not an easy combo. Bro. You know, I, I think you could probably count on one hand how many players in the world can pull that off. Bro, I feel like Whitney Houston. Wow, what, what, what a moment that was. That was a, that was a time. My goodness. Uh, mm. Let me take a sip of my monster and get myself back to earth real quick. Look, my, mine's already gone because uh, I've yep. been so excited yep. that I needed to keep it going. Need the energy. I just, that was so impressive. And talk about a well-fought battle. Wow. The reverse Rio coming in and as close as it gets. We're, we're sitting there scratching our heads. I it's mean, not over, but how do you do this? How do you mount this comeback? How do you do, I mean, this has just been a mute ace's season. I, I, just, I gotta give it to, I mean, they've been strong from the very start, but this is definitely their season right now. They are just 